With the new moon in Aries, let's be mindful of the higher versus lower uses of this energy. We've got a lot of new beginnings, so we want to, you know, set the tone, set the right tone, and coming into it, you know, we are looking at more of this type of Aries energy, uh, more of the, you know, immature energies because of the degree of this new moon. Um, and I think that what we want to embody more of is this Aries energy with the Emperor card, where we're stepping into more of a mature Aries energy. So. The, un, the basic advice is be true to yourself, show up for yourself. But of course, you know, the lower uses, and we're going to see it, so get ready for it. <laughs> Selfishness, self-centeredness, um, do be careful also with carelessness, naivete, recklessness, and self-absorption within ourselves and in others. I think the higher use is for us to discern when courage, trust, and self consideration is appropriate and be aware of fighting fighting for what is is meaningful let's talk about the aries lunar energies that are coming up not just for march 21st but also april 19th with that solar eclipse in aries really powerful really potent this is us moving from the less mature to more mature energies of aries right which would be in tarot representing the full card with that taking that leap of faith around the march 21st um, where we're facing challenges and we're forging ahead come what may um, we start thinking about what we want to initiate and how we can be more brave and in going after what we value and what adds value to us so with this new moon in march it's a good time to consider how you can uh, redirect your life in a meaningful way. What leaps of faith can you take right here, right now? But first, you may have to consider what you need to face, you know, like a fear or what you need to uh, walk away from in order to get your life on the right track and get embrace this new beginning. Now, on April 19th, when we have that that's that solar eclipse in aries i think that we're going to take on more of this hopefully emperor energy because of the degree of aries that it's coming in all right so we're going to hopefully find more freedom through taking responsibility this is going to be a major turning point in life eclipses usually are they're holy shifts <laughs> um, and it could be a really positive one in aries okay but buckle up because this could be quite the ride do you have the courage to leave the past behind? Do you have the strength to put things back on track if they got derailed or if they get derailed? If the ego, if your ego has been driving you or other people's egos have been driving you, spirit may step in to course correct your direction. This is also going to be a time where we need to consider how can we show up for ourselves? How can we be our own hero, our own warrior, our own rescuer? How can we boss up? And if circumstances spontaneously shift out of nowhere, how can we take charge and restore order to our lives in this very emperor way?